right, guys, let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome everybody to the stream. I'm gonna be getting started here in a second. Oh man. So uh <laughs> a few things. Um I am kind of pooped today because uh had a shoot and uh it was it, it was fun, it was a good shoot, everything went well, I think. Um I was out in the sun a lot today, I sweat a lot today because it was hot, and uh our house AC decided to stop working a day or two ago so it's like burning hot in here so if you see me start sweating that is why i got my fan back here you actually can't see the fan in this this okay that works you can't see the fan so uh no there's magical mystical force blowing on me to help keep me cool over there so hopefully uh, i don't think it's coming through it doesn't sound like it's coming through but uh hopefully it's not whatever um <laughs> i'm trying to keep myself from burning alive here um before we get started, also, I want to say, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, and I know some of you guys are not going to be into this, and I'm sorry, but just how it is. I, I, I try not to get political. I don't get political. We actually have a no politics rule in, in for live stream chats and stuff, but thankfully, human rights and civil rights isn't a political thing. It's just people deserve to be treated equally. Nobody deserves to be held down for like, eight and a half minutes nine whatever whatever the number of minutes were that that dude knelt on that uh, on george floyd's neck it, 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 it's 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 terrible it's terrible so um i'm not gonna go into too much detail here man i i i put some links down in the description of the the, the stream if you guys want to support black lives matter or if you want to show your support to the black community in any way shape or form um make sure you check any of the links down below because they all are trying to do good things uh, in this current situation so do it you know if you support the channel at all don't worry about supporting me throw your money there well, no, you're not throwing your money provide your money support that those causes and everything and uh you know don't worry about me just 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 do that and make the world a better place help make the world a better place because apparently we need that still and uh it's it's kind of it's kind of shitty so Anyway, uh, we're, we're going to be getting into some main assembly tonight, and that is a little bit loud in my head, so let's turn that down just a bit. Um, so yeah, main assembly, it is out on, a, if I'm not mistaken, June 11th. It's a game by published, no. The publisher is Team 17, the developer is Bad Yolk Games. Uh, Team 17, um, you may recognize that name. I was first introduced to Team 17 way back when uh, Worms like the the game worms uh came out on the super nintendo so uh that that's that's a name i've known for a long time and uh they are they, they're they're working on getting this out there and it's releasing on june 17th uh no 11th and um the 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 the, the, the they reached out to me they gave me a key I, I did not pay for this game so just a heads up but they're not paying me to say anything i'm just playing it because it looks like a cool game uh this game is effectively like a cross between say like terra tech and something like scrap mechanic um you can go in you can build stuff you can program like motors and hinges and all kinds of stuff to do different things and people have created some really interesting vehicles apparently there's like um like like air dynamics like 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 air aerodynamic modeling is that right is that the right term probably not but you guys get what i'm saying uh but, you know, I, I haven't said hi to you guys in chat yet. I've been just like yammering on and not saying anything at all. Sorry, I, I got, I'm worked up over this whole thing, both the before and this. So let me, let me pull chat up so I can actually pay attention here. Sorry guys, I tend to get a little wrapped up in my own head sometimes. Okay, uh, Andy K, hey, uh, John Nero, thank you guys for being here. You guys are awesome. Appreciate all your help. Hello, Hacker Part 2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my voice is out of sync. Um, have you tried refreshing your browser, John? Oh, I only have three songs on this playlist, by the way, because uh, for some reason, my original playlist got cleared. Um, I'm working on adding more to the playlist, so it'll take a little while. Um, yeah, but John, try to refresh. See if that helps. Uh, everything's shown green on my end. Eight minutes, 40 seconds. 46 seconds. Thank you, Brody. Yes. Uh, 
yeah it's, it's it's crazy here it'll be out in four days five hours 15 minutes there you go uh like team 17 love their worms games yes indeed worms is a great game agreed the worms 2 on pc many years ago you called us awesome so kind of, well you guys are awesome i do appreciate the help so you did and that's better now good 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 okay cool well uh let's get started then let's go ahead and kill the music and bring this in um game where's your audio oh apparently if you click out of the game the audio goes away yeah so that's a thing i'm gonna have to watch for let me check the options just real quick to see if there's a way to see if oh i need that um yeah no okay so 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 if i click out of the game the the, the sound the game sounds gonna go away so just just adds up there all right so i have about 10 minutes in this game um I, I played it long enough to say yeah i'm gonna play that on stream so tonight's gonna be we're gonna be introducing ourselves to the game and by ourselves i mean me and via me you <laughs> by proxy you i guess um so we're gonna we're just gonna hop in we're gonna see what this is all about um i played the tutorial a little bit i'm gonna jump into some of the challenges and see what's going on first day let's see what we can do let's see what we can do in this simulation exercise we will test your ability to drive no build a drivable robot that can take you down this hill oh yeah poke all the dummies uh failed shipment okay drive through all the checkpoints let's see what's going on here welcome to the olive simulated challenge course let's start gently yeah. An Olive Institute building is at the bottom of this scenic hill. Create a robot that can drive down to the parking area. Keep an eye out for optional objectives. These will unlock additional um, capabilities. Uh, okay. So we, we got to boop the robots or the dummies. We got to knock the... What, the thing off? Where, where, where is it? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay, I gotta have to screen lock here. Hold on one second. There we go, okay. Uh, there is a shipment of, like, a pallet down there. I probably need to knock off. I think that's what it is. Um, so you're this little dude. This is the, you're the little robot dude, and you build bigger robots? I mean, I guess that's the premise. That seems to work. Um, I am doing good because I forgot how to do this already. All right, so tab for the catalog we're gonna start with a chassis <laughs> chassis air steel plate carbon fiber aluminum let's just start with plastic why not why not and i am gonna try to remember how to do all this because it has been a while and apparently i've forgotten some stuff so let's place that there we go and then can i okay okay the radio menu Ooh, chassis options so we could do that we have an advanced Symmetry, mirroring, that's kind of cool. Let's do mirroring, because we want to make this symmetrical. We can clone this that way. Can I snap this together? Oh, that's bad already. That's bad, but we can control Z, that's good. Sure, um, do, 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 do. Can I rotate? I can rotate this. Why is this red? Please. Okay, let's, see, let's get up here. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay sure how does it, i probably should have went through the tutorials more you know let's do that <laughs> let's do that there is a little bit of a learning curve to this game uh, i thought maybe i could just jump in but apparently that's not the case uh let, let's just let's just jump in why not sorry that's that whole i should have prepared thing yeah okay so we can do stuff Glad to see you up and fly you are expected mm. to the simulation area find your way there i have unlocked the smaller drone doors for you due to some technical issues yeah. the drone door leading onto the simulation area didn't unlock mm. i have printed a drivable robot using one of our fancy nano printing stations but due to a kill of good job now I'm getting there. Yeah. I can do stuff. So, they have made a drivable robot for us. 
for this here wonderful little tutorial. So we're going to continue with that. Oops. Looks like the normal door is locked here. Confusing. Undock from your robot and go through the drone door to enter simulation room number three. Yes, please. AI drone identified. Welcome. Commencing basic training program. All right. Transferring data to simulation. Please stand by. All right, let's do the next one. Welcome. This is your very first simulation session. Your mm. purpose in this world is to build robots to assist humans Hello. and make them thrive. How's it going? A robot like that consists of three things. Parts, chassis, and programming. Yes. This particular simulation focuses on parts. We will have a lot of fun. All so right. go ahead and enter assembly mode. You can do this anywhere in front of you. Got it. You should now see a simple robot that I have prepared for you. But one thing is missing. The part called docking station. You're yeah. said it. All the parts available to you are to your left to see a list of categories. Uh, docking, the docking station, station can be found under the drop down yep. pool. Now place it somewhere on your bot. Okay. Well this bot's very, very awkwardly placed. I, I do have to say I'm not not impressed with the uh the location of the spawn here but hey we'll do it all right since this robot has four drive motors placed already all the programming has been done for you under the hood so we don't have to worry about that right now let's print this bad boy okay so kind of a cool thing here is if you can click on this you can actually say you know how much acceleration you want it shows you like the direction the wheels will go and then you can actually go in and do some fine tuning of stuff, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Create your new bot by pressing. Oh, that's what I didn't do earlier. Okay. Drive around for a bit. Three. When you feel ready, proceed to the parking area and I will go ahead and break your performance. All right. I'm going to go knock over this dummy over here because he deserves it. Okay. I wish the camera would follow a little bit. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, oh yeah. Eat it, dummy. Okay, where's the other dummy? There's one down there. How many are there? There are two of them. Can I just go down this? Whoop. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I just cleaned something somehow. Um, can I get out? And then can I flip it over? Nice. And then, then. Uh, I guess I'm good to go ahead and park then. Let's do it. Oh boy. There we go. We did it. All right. So yeah, I did the first two and realized you guys. Oh, there was another one I was supposed to do. Okay. Whatever. Welcome back. Eager to learn, are we? Mm -mm. Great. Let's explore parts a bit more. Okay. Go ahead and enter the assembly mode again. Let's go over here this time. As you can see, I have prepared a new robot for you. Ooh. But this one is missing something else. Let's see if you can figure out how to finish this robot. I'm going to think probably some wheels. And I want large wheels because why not? They're really tiny wheels. How, how tiny are the tiny wheels? That's not bad, but that's not what I want. Off-road standard racing. We got a road medium. We got some racing medium, standard medium, racing large. How how large is large? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, this wow. is awesome. You. All smart. Good job. Well, thank you. If you by any reason don't like the wheel that you placed, you can always delete it and select a new one from the catalog. Elongated musk. What's up, buddy? And see if it works. Okay, so if we were to click it and say door reach, we can do that. But that's not what we want to do. We can clone with middle click, right? Yes. And mirroring is turned on, so it went ahead and did the thing. So let's go ahead and print Yahoo. this. Yes. Fantastic. Just as we did before. Drive around and have fun. See when if I can jump the thing again. Moving on, just drive up onto the parking area again and we will move on to the next lesson. Woohoo! Oh, oh no. Oh god. Okay. Oh, nope, nope. Mayday. Hmm. Okay, what else am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to get the dummy. Don't mess with me. 
<laughs> oh, they're sassy dummies. That's great. So there's this dude. Bye bye. Bonk. Oh no, I fell down. I am dead now. Uh, press backspace to respawn. Okay. Nice. I'm not gonna do that until last. But no, no, no. We're gonna get over. We're gonna go up to the left. These are very grabby wheels. I like it. Ooh. Oh. No. Oh no. There we go. Place at least four small wheels. I did a thing. Let's respawn. And uh, let's get out. And let's follow directions for once. Let's um delete those. And then it says small wheels. I guess I should have paid attention. We'll do small racing wheels. How about that? And then we'll have two race cars. And it's gonna print right on top of no it replaced okay that's fine that's fine uh we did we poked all the dummies place the wheels yep we can go now it's not quite as fast can we make it oh yeah i did the thing oh mm, mm, okay But yeah, um, tutorial is great. You learn how to play the game. You spherical marvel. Your hmm. recent results were beyond my expectations. Oh, really? And that is not a statement I make lightly. <laughs> For this last one, I will let you do it all from scratch. What is that? I will try not to disturb you while you are in your creative bubble. So, go ahead and assemble a new robot and then just print it. Okay. Uh, so poke all the dummies, show a dummy the depths. Don't forget to enter assembly mode to build on your robot. Ooh, we can knock that guy off the side. So that would be that. So one, two, and three. And that should be good. That should be perfectly good. So let's go here. Dish. Oh, it's just like a proper chest. Just a friendly reminder from a friendly voice. <laughs> the catalog is where... Yeah, I know. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Let's start with the motors. Uh, I want to do a large motor. We doing? We're doing Take great. The time you want. Well, thank you. Make sure that you have added motors, wheels, and the docking station on it. It won't work without those parts. I had planned. Why is it fo focusing backwards? Do I need to? What is it? Pointing backwards. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's saying backwards is the direction. You know, that doesn't seem right. But we're gonna do it see what happens now can we click it the acceleration let's turn the acceleration all the way up oh hi okay it's one of those okay got it got it Grip. full acceleration oh what about you guys all the way all the way so it is mirrored okay cool and then let's go grab some big old wheels because why not <laughs> oh no that seems like that's not gonna work and i think i've done something wrong anyway because that is definitely not right okay let's get rid of this let's get rid of this clone this there we go double check our acceleration the rotation's correct so that's good so let's do let's do let's do like medium Still big, but it looks like it might work. All right, let's print it. Let's see what happens. This looks like this is going to be dumb. Um. Oh, I need a docking station. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So docking. Yes, that's what I missed. As simple as this is, I'm actually really enjoying this. Uh, there we go. And would you want to drive that cool? Absolutely glorious. All right, how bad is this going to be? Ooh. Parts makes Ooh. me very happy. Ooh. When you feel satisfied, you know where to go. I have some very, very exciting <laughs> oh, no. stuff for you in the next session. We will load you into another simulation and have a look at the chassis and learn all about it. It will be so much fun. Let's see here. Uh, tiny front wheels, massive back wheels. Yes. Yes. We will do that because that sounds wonderful. 
let's get rid of the wheels i like the suggestion let's do that wheels large really big old funky wheels and then small let's at least match the wheel type okay <laughs> oh that looks like that's gonna fall over immediately all right you oh 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 whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> hmm i'm gonna have to be very careful in this one it really wants to fall over immediately oh 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 yeah yeah it's, it's cause my acceleration is too high let's see if we can do this this is a challenge we are setting for ourselves here oh down the hill hey i made it hello dummy hello dummy eat it dummy Bonk. i shall do nothing of the sort okay oh 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 yes do i have up here this is <laughs> okay i'm gonna have to get some speed for this we can do it we can do it oh whoa. yeah okay there's enough torque on the wheels that'll flip me back over that's great and we are gonna I'm done. <laughs> and then oh oh god oh no oh no okay Ooh. oh no okay 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 we can we like move it over oh <laughs> it was great and then we have oh god i went too much ah, we made it though okay 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 this is uh this is kind of awkward and get off of my car yes i literally just said that. i said it was awkward but that's fine the idea was the same okay true from uh yes really eat it uh, I guess someone's just gonna hop over here. Here to do there. This was so awkward to drift. I did all the things. That's great. All right, moving time. I like it. Are you guys enjoying this game so far? I mean, I know it'd be more fun if like we weren't doing the tutorial, but. It's time for us to get creative. The fun. look of your robot will greatly depend on the design of the chassis. You can build and make changes to the chassis using a few simple tools that will be introduced in this section. Yeah, this is the part I was having trouble with. A chassis consists of three components, plates, mm -hmm. frames, mm -hmm. and joints. Okay. A plate is defined by frames, and a frame is the part between two joints. Okay. Using these three components, you can modify the chassis into the design you want. Let's start off by entering assembly mode. Ooh, let's do that. Try to print this robot and drive it through that doorway. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing. That's kind of fun. Those tiny, tiny wheels. That's some, that's some funky wheels. These, and they're really, really far. So that's not going to be able to do it. Nope. Um, Hmm. That didn't really work. Did it, it did not. Let's fix it. Pop back into assembly mode again. We need to edit the chassis to get through the door. To be Whoa. Uh oh. I, my computer does this sometimes, guys. I'm sorry. It'll come back. Give it like ten seconds. It's a very wonderful sound. There we go. The chassis, you need to isolate. Okay, that's great. So look at the chassis. Okay, we did it. Did the thing with stuff and then um how do we get it okay uh, it was very helpful information that we would have oh oh you just click and drag it okay okay mistakes happen wait hey okay. hey now you can always undo them try it there we go look at that and then uh-huh Sure. Moment of truth. I can tell you how excited I am right now. Uh, he got the personality that's making it enjoy. Well, okay, I appreciate you saying that, man. There we go. We made it. We did the thing. Stellar performance. That's what Head I thought. Over to the parking space to continue. 
Okay. There is a diploma there. Can we go through here? Maybe. Yes. Let me just start running straight into doors and hope that the doors will open. Wait, there was something down there too. I thought that was the way I was supposed to go. Maybe there's two ways out. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. All right. Oh yeah, that's what it was, okay. What's in here? Nope, nothing. There's a door over here. I like exploring things, guys. You guys will have to pardon me. I am curious by nature. Here, let's not roll up on the wall there. Okay, so it was a complete waste of time. Got it, got it, got it. Let's pull this thing in. Aha. Oh, I was supposed to undo a mistake. I'm, we're not doing that. All right, we get to shape it up now. That's, that's fun. As I mentioned earlier, a chassis consists of plates, frames, and joints. By modifying frames and joints, you'll be able to make finer adjustments to your chassis. Go into assembly mode, and I'll show you how it works. Well, I think you. What's up, Hawaiian? How's it going, buddy? Uh, Haggard does not realize he's being controlled by Gladys. Yeah, it, it is very similar to Gladys. I, I will it's admit that. It's a very simple robot that I've prepared for you. Isolate the chassis to enable editing. It looks like a shoe. I hope you recall how to move a plate. Moving frames and joints is done the same way. Easy. <laughs> Try moving the yellow frame on the chassis and see what happens. Yellow frame on the chassis. Okay. Um... Joints can be merged together. Just move one <laughs> of them on top of the other. Mm -hmm. This is really easy to do. Try it. Exciting stuff. Ew. Now print your robot and head over to the parking area to continue. Uh, we need to merge joints several times. This is going to be ugly, but uh, I'm doing what you're saying. So let's, um, can we just... Oh, we can move things too. That's kind of fun. This is, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. There's no reason for what I'm doing. Other than just to be an idiot. Very nice. Very nice. I approve. And now, actually, let's make this at least drivable. Damn. Can we delete you? Yes. Okay. Now I got just like a pokey back. That's fine with me. That's an interesting design choice. Correct. Looking forward to seeing what you'll come up with next. <laughs> Not very much, I'm sure. Uh, Aiden, hey, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. A dragster? Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that, but I was like, ah, uh, they're not wanting me to put wheels and stuff on. Oh, oh, you guys are getting all excited. Let's, is there anything? I guess we'll just go through here. We'll just, we'll just go through here. Keep it simple. I'll take you out with me. And unlock this tire by avoid all the dummies. Oh, oh, oh well, it's fine. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, it's going fast. It's fast. It's fast. Ooh. Oh, and it's a timed thing too. Interesting. Okay, let's let's do that. You can do that. You can do it. I can do it. Ooh, I can't see, I can't get turned around, mother fuck. This thing isn't the easiest to control, to be completely honest. Whoa, whoa. Damage is in the game. That's kind of cool. Okay. Respawn. And actually, let's, let's, let's be a little funkier. I want to grab the nose of this. Well, that's not gonna work. I want to grab the entire front half of this. And can I grab like a bunch of them at the same time? How does that work? <laughs> uh, the answer is quickly becoming no.
I mean, if I just started deleting things, making it less necessary and maybe lighter, I don't know. That's not an important part, is it? That's usually how I do my, my mechanic work. I just say, hey, this doesn't look important. And then uh, I delete it and then I have to actually call a real mechanic because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. There we go. Let's do it. It's a little shorter. A little more empty looking. A little bit quicker to turn. That's good. Ooh, it's so fast. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 do it, do it, get it, no, okay. All right, all right, I can do this. So I just got to kind of come in fast and from the side, but not too fast. There we go. We got it. Oh, yeah. And we're just going to go park. Bunk. Very cool. So now, new perspectives. Learn the extrude feature. Hmm. Room does not go screw. <laughs> so, moving stuff around sure is fun, but to make art proper, art, up, you need to step up your game. Oh no. What you need to learn is how to extrude. That way, you can create new plates, frames, and joints from oh, okay. existing such. We will try this new feature on plates to begin with. That's why I was having trouble before because I didn't understand this at all. The chassis. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna Oop, on the chassis. Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it just? Okay. Go ahead and try to extrude the blue plate or another one, whichever one you like. I like blue. <laughs> okay. Uh, control while dragging a plate. Does that mean we can give our our car a mohawk? Like here. Whoa! Great. Whoa! Whoa! Look at those shiny new plates that you have created. Using the extrude feature will allow you to build more complex and detailed chassis designs. Okay, I remember. Feel free to extrude a bit more if you want to. When you feel done, print, park, proceed. I had um. And remember, you can always undo. Any action you're not happy with. <laughs> control Z all of life. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I changed my down to control. So that is apparently a key. It, it, it's a conflict. Now I'm going to have to fix that. Otherwise, the extrude thing is not going to work quite as well as I would like. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Okay, so if, I, if I'm looking up and I push down, it's still going to go down. That's good to know. I extruded it, right? Does that work? <laughs> we'll say that works. Oh, it's terrible. I have to admit, I see great potential in you. Well, that makes me very happy. That makes one of us. This is it's terrible. Okay, where are we going? Uh, we are going to poke the dummies. Okay, we can do that. Can I make it fly? I mean, there is aerodynamics in the game. So at some point that we will be going over like flying and stuff. Done. You're done. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, you are stuck. Excuse me. Oh, oh no. Did I destroy my vehicle? No, I just got stuck. Did a little damage though. That's, that's cool to see though. That really is. Oh, that's not good. Oh, <laughs> I did it. Eat it, dummy. Cause I said so. Um, um, I don't like the sound of your bones, whatever your bone equivalents are cracking. All it needs is a jet engine. Absolutely. That'd be great. Oh, the turning radius on this is terrible. Feel the dummy over there. Hey, dummy. Okay, practice extruding. Oh, I was supposed to extrude more. Okay. So let me go into my keybinds. 
Uh, controls. Build clone. Um, print size. Control down right there. But it doesn't say anything about. Oh, you know what? Creative movement. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Hmm. So let's, let's try something. Just put these back. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, oh. Oh, ho. Oh. Like wings. <laughs> I would like that, but it's that's pretty terrible, to be honest. Now we have no no back wheels. Uh, we're going to practice extruding. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. So if we were to, we could give it wings. That, this is going to be some badass wing-looking things. It's not going to be able to fit through the doors. So we will put that back. That's not what I want. To do. But it's fine. It's good. Good. Get rid of all that that I just did. I mean, we give us like some bat wings. This, that sounds like a good use of our time. That's not the direction I wanted to go. I wanted to go like, and then like, because <laughs> that's so dumb. That is so dumb. There's no need for any of that. Okay, let's uh, put on some wheels. Oh, you know what? Um, we already have wheels, but we need engines. We need a clone or motors, I guess. Oh, uh, that. Here? Does that work? I mean, it looks like maybe it might. Let's do it. Let's try it. <laughs> beep, beep. I wonder if that's heavy, if it's going to fall over backwards. Yeah, it's driving all right. Okay. We're just going to the parking space now. Oh, it's driving really weird. Oh, okay. I'm still floating. What? Let's go down here. Let's go down back here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Batmobile, yeah, right. Looks beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I like it. Uh, is Streamlabs Prime worth it? Uh, if you're going to use it a whole lot and you find a lot of value in it, uh, yeah, go for it. But probably not. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I stopped doing it. So, uh, mobile. Uh, Arturo, what's up, man? Good to see you. All right, let's continue. So we're going to get creative somehow, some way. All right. So art class is coming to an end, but I have one more thing to show you. The extrude feature is not only applicable on plates, but also on frames and drawings. Yeah, I was doing that last time. The method is the same, although the results you get will be different, depending on what kind of component you're mm. extruding. Okay. For your final assignment, it's time for you to get your hands dirty. Figuratively speaking, think outside the box and make your very own design. True. I have taught you how to fish. Now, go fish. I really have to change this. Extrude features you've learned earlier and build something cool. The graduation oh. ceremony will take place by the parking space. So when you feel ready, head over there to present your piece of art. There we go. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna do. Let's do. Let's do. This is not going to be anything exciting, guys. Just, just a forewarning. I like how it keeps the shape, though. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Let's put this like right here. That like right here. Bring this back in just a little bit. So far, so good. Don't have any expectations because i will i will absolutely disappoint um so if we were to extrude on 
okay i see i see so if we want to do the sides or the empty parts in the middle we can go on this part we want to extrude this okay that's kind of cool actually let's connect these up nope not what i meant to do there we go i like it give me a wide butt because that would be actually accurate um <laughs> uh let's let's go put on some motors nope uh motors there we go large medium and small i mean we'll keep it simple can we just oh so it has to be on a flat surface okay 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 How about that? Does that count? I mean, it looks like maybe it will. Do you like inspirational quotes? My favorite one is, the world is but a canvas to the imagination. It's so deep. I mean, if you say so, that's fine. Clone this. Uh, well, we're not cloning this. Uh, let's do another small motor and just put it back here. We're just gonna make this super, super not crazy. Work. And then let's go with uh, some wheels. I kind of want to do these weird little nubby things. Just see what happens. All right, down. Sorry, he binded that. All right, does that work? And then we have a controller already. I think. Remember, yes. That is so beautiful. You are a true artist. Um. I don't know about you, but my <clears throat> right brain half needs a break. Thankfully, the next section is all about the left one. All right, I was waiting for the lady to stop talking. The, the GLaDOS sounding lady. Uh, but Arturo, dude, I appreciate that, man. That's cool of you. Your support means a lot. Much appreciated. Get you popping her bean, as is tradition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. There we go. And I don't know what this is going to be, but here goes. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, rotten eggs. Oh, oh, God. No. Oh, God, it just permeates my sinus. Ah, but Arturo, I appreciate that, man. That was cool of you. Oh, blah. oh I do not. Oh, I just never, ever want to taste that. <laughs> okay. And okay so where are we going we're going down to the parking area i guess it looks like oh, yeah. what is this oh, oh easy 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 what is that for finish with a heavy robot well i mean how do you make a heavy robot how heavy is heavy i mean i guess the more stuff you have oh yeah we could just do this and then do that and then <laughs> uh what was it that you ate um we have a thing where when people uh donate um i uh I do the bean boozled thing i don't know if you've ever seen the bean boozled it's like a chance of being like a, a, a good flavored bean or a really bad flavored bean so like either like spoiled milk or coconut or rotten egg or buttered popcorn or bark or peach like like it's kind of rough, but uh, Arturo is demonstrating here, so um, we, we're, we're gonna do that again. And the popper thing is just something I've always kind of done, so it's it's just fun to have. <laughs> Thank you, Arturo, man. I appreciate that again. <laughs> appreciate you demonstrating. Uh, so we got a bean here. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Dead fish. Oh, that's gross. So gross. Oh. oh man oh man oh so bad so bad but uh arturo man appreciate your support buddy uh, it means a lot okay let's um let's actually do this challenge real quick first and then we will what get it get it get it yeah that was by chance okay it says finish with a heavy robot 45.2 out of 50. So I just need to go and add more stuff. 
The flavor is in my mouth. Here, let's make a stack of these. Turn them in. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So let's build. Um, so let's uh get rid of these, I guess. And just put the bigger stuff on? I mean, does that work? Does that count? Motors. 15 versus 5. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just we'll just load this dude up. And then put the, the big old wheels on it. Do road large. Aha! <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh why did I choose the name the Haggard Nerd? Well, um if you look at me, I'm kinda haggard. And I like to play games and I'm kind of a nerd, so it's not it's not really super deep, I promise. But appreciate you asking the question. Here we go. Oh, 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 wow, this is quick to turn. I get the feeling this thing could be fast too. Oh yeah. Bad day. Uh oh. I wonder what bad day was. I didn't do it. All right, why are things up? Here, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. We'll dive a bit deeper into what you can do with your robots. Let's look at some of the programming that you can do within your dock. I go in the water. I want to go in the water. There are endless possibilities. Mm. But now, I will just go to the very basics. So, first off, as per usual, enter a simply mode and then print the robot that I have built for you. Well, okay. Doesn't work, does it? No, not really. Let's go back to assembly mode and figure out why. Whenever you have a robot with a docking station on it, you can access its programming interface. Oh. The brain of your robot. So, yeah, so this gets really interesting. Give me a minute and let me explain what you are looking at here. Here you can see your workspace and your list of nodes. The workspace is the grid where you place your programming nodes, and the list on the left contains categories yes. of different kind of programming nodes that you can use. Right now, all the nodes that this robot needs to drive are already placed in your workspace, Correct. but all the logic is not hooked up. You can see the wire connecting one of the input nodes to the steering node. But it looks like the other input node is not wired to the power of the motor. This is why you could not move forward or backwards. But don't worry, this is really easy to fix. On the right side of this node, there is a small dot. This is a chip pin that is used to attach wires. On the left side of the power node, you have another chip pin. It's used for input to that node. This goes for any node in the programming. Input pins are on the left of a node and output pins on the right. To wire nodes together, you just drag a wire from the output pin of a node to the input pin of another node. Right, so <clears throat> this is where things get interesting with this game. Not only can you build, you know, a la Terratech and just snap things together, um, but you can actually, you have all these inputs and outputs. And the inputs are basically, you, you, can, you can assign what keys you're going to use for whatever. So if you want to use space for something, if you want to use the number pad for some reason, for whatever you want to do, um, you can assign those keys here. And then basically whatever inputs you have, you can then assign work to do based on those inputs. Um, so right now, if we use W or S for forward or back, um, we have parameters. So we can set our power, we set our acceleration, how much speed versus power. Uh, there's the camber angle, which has to do with, I think, like so how, the, how the... Actually, I don't know what that means. Um, but th there's interesting things that you can see here. They've, they've got things going on here. Like it's a node based thing. So they have W and S, which negates and adds and stuff like that, uh, which is really cool. Um, we can do math if we want to do, uh, like if you really want to get crazy with it, um, we can negate things. Um, we got a toggle here and then we have parts. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I thought I saw some more advanced stuff later on, um, but we can just kind of like that. The input node will now send signals to your motor and give it power back out from programming and then print your bot to test it. Okay. Now it's talking about doing the negate thing. So I'm sure we're about to mess up here. Yep. Yep. No, it works. Okay, cool. 
we can turn we can move awesome so can we just drive i printed the bot we're going now i'm just driving wow. looks like it's working cool drive to the parking spot again and i will give you another example all right well there's a diploma over here i want uh oh aiden uh thanks for hanging out bud have a good evening the detail yeah the detail can get really ridiculous gotta go but want to stop by, show some love have a great stream and have a great weekend all all right archer i appreciate that man uh you have a good weekend as well bud all right i'm gonna there we go blow my coat oh, i just ran into something come on come on there we go aha I guess when you drive up on the platform, this is like a, I don't know, anti-gravity place. I have no idea. So we got nodes now, which is going to be fun. All right. Bring up your assembly mode again. Print and try out this new robot. Don't you tell me how to live my life. But okay. All right. Um, so we can dip. Can figure out what's wrong? Uh, yeah, not the best at turning, is it? Well, Ooh. I am very sure that you can fix Ooh. that. Hop back to assembly mode and bring up the programming interface again, just like you did before. Okay. Have a look at the notes here. Looks like we have inputs connected to the power of the motors, but no inputs for the steering. No wonder it was a bit difficult to drive. Since there are no more input, now we just have to connect the two nodes, just as we did before. Drag it now. Select that node. Its properties should show on the left. Next, bravo. Sweet. There you go. Stellar. Back out of programming and then press this off and see. Work this piece to mm -hmm. continue. Oh, when it's reversed. Ready. It's reversed. We're going to have to do this backwards or redo it. So B and then T e and then yep. There we go. There we go. Now we're in the now we're cooking with bacon. Let's go do that. Oh, it's timed. Oh no! There this is gonna be there. Oh well it's linked, it's not timed. It's not got like a ticker timer thing going on. See you. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else? I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh yeah. Let's see here. Later, Haggard. After stream, we should look. At workshop give you ideas or try things yeah that, that, that sounds like a good plan i'd like to see what other people have made uh but have a good night hawaiian if you're heading up all right let's see what else we got all right hacker mode on Ooh. repetition time yay same deal as always enter assembly mode you don't have to test drive this robot i know it's not working Bring up the programming interface and All right. it. The sloppy person working on this bot seemed to have completely ignored to program this thing. Lucky for us that Here you know go. how to do this now. Let's see if you can figure this out. You will need to find the power and steering node for the motor. And then two input nodes to map the keys you want to use to drive this thing. And don't forget to connect them with some wires. Good luck. When you feel ready. You just back out to assembly mode again and then print it and go for a spin. So I found that there was advanced mode here uh, and that I, I clicked it and started looking through this while she was talking. But um, this is the thing I was talking about. Like, like, like you can add noise for randomization, I guess. And then like you can measure time and stuff. You can add delays. You can do like toggle flip flop stuff. Apparently you can add stuff to memory and it's like it's it's very very cool you can do freaking trig in here i i couldn't even start to delve into that right now i took trig in high school and i don't remember a damn thing from it oh yeah 
I, I guess I remember a little bit, but not not enough to be useful in anything. So we have two motors. Um, I just don't know what motor was where. Uh, okay, so let's start with the inputs outputs. Let's go input, and we we basically just need to drive this thing. So the input is going to be W and S. And this one is going to be A and debug value. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at that! It can... <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so you can de you can walk through and like debug stuff. That's cool. It's like part of programming that I absolutely love. Okay. Um. So there's that. There's that. Um. You right? It's gonna, yeah. And then for the parts. Uh, we want to do power and break, I guess. Power. Uh, WNS. That work. Okay, I don't know how that's going to help us right now. But it's fine. It's good. It's good. We'll figure it out. And then uh, for this, we want to do steer for A and D. So let's try it out and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> the back wheels turn, but our, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not the way I would like it to, but uh, I mean, it'll work. I just didn't know which uh, ones were which. You should know enough now to build your own robot from scratch. Build a chassis, place some parts, and pick up the program. Head over to the parking space to continue. This thing actually turns really good. It's like a, it's like a forklift. Junk. Oh yeah. Let's see. Um. Hacker mode. Pretty funny. <laughs> Perfect game for a nerd. Looks super complicated. If you need it to be. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those where this this game does get more and more complex and um, does cater to more of those that, that appreciate and can wrap their head around the, the programming stuff. You will design many different creations for various purposes. These robots can easily be saved and loaded by using the Olive Institute bot interface. Okay. Let's try and save your current bot so you can use it anytime you want later. Start by entering assembly mode and open the catalog and then go into the bot tab. Assembly mode and then the catalog. And I guess this is oh up here okay right. you can see the currently loaded bot below <gasps> that the save option the save as button and give the bot a name um, the practice we encourage all our users to take on is to save your bots regularly and name them properly uh, do yourself a favor and make this a routine you'll thank me later all right okay can't save into the work guys I see, I see we're still gonna call it Bob Good job. There we go. Now I'll show you how to start a new bot. All right. If you want to build something from scratch. It's simple. Just press the start new bot button. Start new bot. As you can see here, Ooh. there are a bunch of different bases to start off. I with. like it. Just pick the one that best suits your needs. I mean, hit the create button. Large H shape sounds good. Now build something cool. I kind of wish I could move this. Alt for bend. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. I love it. Okay. So, I mean. The parts you can use can be found in the catalog tab. So, if we were to. That. And then. There we go. Now it's kind of out of the way. Uh, I'm going to just keep this very, very simple. Uh, I'm not trying to do anything ridiculous with this just yet. So with the motors, let's put just like some medium motors on. I just want something I can drive around from now. I want to explore a bit. This is going to be terrible for turning. We'll use some large wheels because why not? And then 
buttons hop in here Let's do some programming we got ws for power we got space fire for brake dna for steer we got left shift for input hmm i think we're, I think we're good so dumb that it's so good the best part about the game yeah yeah zoom 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 okay Oh. I have more things to show you. Oh, well, I was gonna... Go back into a okay. Sure. I mean, I guess. Before we move on, make sure you save this piece to the bot so you can use it later. Okay. You remember how to do that, right? Uh, here. Oh, there's kits. Yeah. Oh, hi. What are you, Boombox? A 360 servo. That's interesting. Ooh, forklift and plain tail assembly and some wings and like a walker. Oh, okay. Um, 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 save as a uh, dumb H. Start. Okay. There we go. So here in the bot tab, you should now see the bots that you have saved earlier. To load any of them into your current simulation, simply select them and hit the load button. Easy. All right, so let's load that. Cool. Good job. Well, I'm sure this was a walk in the park for you. Now make it a drive to the parking and collect your well-deserved diploma. Okay. I am going into sleep mode now. Bye bye. Let's park it, and I will unload the simulation for you and bring you back to the facility. I will okay. make sure to find you, and I think that you are ready for more. Hey, Joe. Okay. What? What are those words that you just spoke to me? Uh, let's see here to program a double turn where the front wheels turn right and the back wheels turn left in order to go right and vice versa so so if these are the front wheels and these are the back wheels you want the front wheels to be able to turn but also the back wheels to be able to turn so if i were to go left the back wheels would go that way if i were to go right the back wheels would go that way so it basically would turn me so it'd be like a super sharp turn um this design would probably work with that because it is so wide um so let's yeah i mean that's that's an interesting little challenge i want to try it out a little bit um so we do w, w and s would work for the power group so is this put a so i mean i would assume if i'm not mistaken that we could i don't know which is which though so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this get rid of this i'm gonna go parts i mean one of these oh yeah uh so steering no w oh oh no control z control z i'm doing the wrong thing a and d that's what i need so steer that's for one so we would need it for two and we would want to do steer as well which means we should just be able to do that all right right okay let's see if that works and if that doesn't work We'll just need to do some tweaking. Oh, okay. Drive motor medium one. So there's a group. Ah, okay. 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 It's it's a little weird. It's a little weird. So if we turn left. No. Okay. I got it. I got it. I know what's wrong here. So I do programming, like like SQL programming is my job. So I love like figuring out little logic things like this. So and then and then for this one, I think it would be the back then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a negate not toggle negate we'll put the negate here we're gonna put this here we're gonna put that here there we go so we'll either need to put this up here or this i'm thinking this should work but we'll find out here now so print yep like that Is that what we're talking about yeah it's got some good drive oh uh, some, some really What's going on here? Can I just break through? Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, and there's a timer. And there's a timer, and I'm done. Okay. We'll have to do it again. Oh boy, that thing is quick. Okay, easy, easy, easy. 
No, get it, get it. No, not up the tree. Not up the, ah, okay. So this, I'm going to have to go and make an adjustment. I kind of want to steal one of those little buggy cart thingamabobs. Can I do that? Can I, can I just, can I grab this? Can I grab this. It looks a lot bigger than maybe what it should be. Nope. Okay. Not going to happen. It's fine. Let's, let's, let's do it. We can do it. Just gotta, gotta figure it out. If I don't get stuck. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for this to respawn. Raise the chassis. Yeah. An option. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Slow it down. Slow it down. Not up the tree. It's through. It's through. Yeah. Ah, I'm so close. I might need to make some adjustments to this. Yeah. Oh, can I get up here? Go through. No, I can't go through. Okay. Let's do this. Um, let's go into build mode. Let's 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 do a little bit of adjustment. Now that I kinda kinda know what's going on. Um, we're gonna have to redo a lot of this, but it's it's okay. Um I really kind of want to make just something really small and really simple because the bigness of this is a little ridiculous. Can we just start from scratch? Is there a way to do that? Uh, go bots. I mean, this Bob's not bad. I mean, let's just load Bob here. All right, but we are going to make a little bit. Well, I'm sure this was a walk in the park for you. <laughs> well, thanks. Now make it a drive to the parking and collect your well deserved diploma. I, I am going into sleep mode now. Yeah, well, you know, I heard you the first time. I will unload the simulation for you and bring you back to the facility. I will make sure to find you when I think that you are ready for more. Okay, Doe. Okay. I really think maybe she's saying bad words to me in a different language. That's just me, though. Uh, we're large. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that looks that looks proper, right? Right. Looks, looks, looks good. Let's go into programming mode. Make sure this is part deleted. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, we don't need the space bar. We just need this. We don't need left shift. So let's just do this real fast. Like, um, so the motor one, I would assume. Does it tell me which is which? Motor one. Motor one. Okay. And motor two is the back. I would assume. Motor two. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so WNS is good. So motor one is the front, motor two is the back. So for WNS, we need motor two, and that's going to be our power. So we're just gonna do, whoop, we're, uh, uh, we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna get confused here. And then um, for one, we're gonna basically do what we did before. We're gonna do a steer. And we also wanna steer on the back as well. So, we did this and then did four two as well put the steer back up and then didn't we need a negate so the two is in the back and the back needs to be negated so let's go ahead and just um state sign so we'll negate here we'll put this there and then that there and that should work right here here yeah. Hey, a little bit more nimble. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Okay, okay. okay I got. Oh, I can't see. Oh no! Oh no! Aha! Aha! Do it! Get it! Get it! Oh, yeah! Ha <laughs> I did it! I did the thing. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh man, okay. Let's see here. Uh, you may need to decrease the wheel size, decrease the power, or raise the chassis. Okay. Uh, had a Honda Accord that did that four wheel steer and you hated it. That'd be weird to have in a, like our road car. And inputs once you have the new car. Kind of reminds me of good old dream car racing evolution. That sounds familiar. I don't know if I ever played that. But. So we did, uh, we did most of everything. We got almost all of them. So it looks like we should be able to get into the actual proper bit of the game. Now that we've been through the tutorial, 
Uh, okay, first day. Down the hill. All right. The flash game. Oh, okay. Welcome to the Olive Simulated Challenge Course. Let's start gently. An Olive Institute building is at the bottom of this scenic hill. Create a robot that can drive down to the parking area. Keep an eye out for optional objectives. These will unlock additional simulation capabilities. I just load Bob and then resave the stuff that I meant to save earlier. Hey. Uh, bots. Let me save. Save as Bob 2.0. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Bob 2. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's uh, do that. And then uh, checkpoints. And then we need to make it down to there. We knock the dummies off. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Easy now. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to. Oh, no. I was so close. I was so close. Oh, whoa. And that is what we call a pro gamer move. Uh, I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Okay. Can I climb this? I'm going to have to probably give myself some torque. I think that's something that needs to happen. So let's go into here. Acceleration. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do this in the programming mode. Whoops. So power, we can do speed versus power. We're going to put it more towards power. Let's do, ooh, oh, okay. Let's do like a 75%, right? Yeah. So maybe it won't be quite as fast. Ooh, not quite as fast as all, but I should be able to climb hills now. Oh, the steering is just ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come in from the other side and just go, go ham on it, like as fast as I can with my new slow car. Beep beep. Ah. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. There we go. Okay, so we got one of the dummies. Oh, there's another dummy. <laughs> this thing can turn on a dime. Look at this. <laughs> and that's a full speed too. That's that's awesome. I mean, not that it's slow, but the, the fact that it just turns so ridiculously. All right, so let's go down to the docks. Let's try to find this other dummy too. There's a checkpoint down here. Let's hit that. It's a little slow for my liking, but it works. Ding, ding. Okay, so let's, um, ooh. Oh no, we're gonna have to go back and change things. Do we have enough to, are we small enough? It looks very close. The old shipment, oh no, it's too wide. All right, so let's do a couple of quick things. There are a couple of changes I want to make to Bob 2.0. We're going to end up like with Bob version like 30 by the time this is all done and over with. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to move this entire piece in. It's not working at all. Okay. So if I move it in from the back first, so it was like two clicks. One, two. Okay, and then I want to move them down a little bit. It's like we're getting some clipping here. Is that looking a little bit better? It's kind of back. Let's let's move it up a little bit. Also, let's try to remove that clipping because that's kind of probably going to give me troubles. There we go, and then forward a bit. I guess. All right. Maybe, maybe not. 
No, still, still needs to be forward a bit. But are the motors? Oh, you know, I've, I've <laughs> inverted the, the, the sides. So these need to be here. Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong now. The fact that this is not a solid piece anyway kind of bugs me. But it's fine. Okay, now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. There we go. Now, do we have any issues with stuff touching? I mean, these these rods and stuff might cause some troubles. But I just wanna, I just wanna pull this down, man. Uh, not that far. That look even. It looks like maybe that might be even. Okay, let's go back into program. Let's go back into power. Let's take that from 75 down to like 65. Nah, 60. 60. Can I? I can just type it in. Sweet. It makes it infinitely better. Can I use my mouse wheel? No. Okay. Them damn smexy wheels doing it, right? Longer wheelbase, maybe. Uh, longer wheelbase will make it harder to turn. And if we're trying to do double steering we want as much turn responsiveness as possible i guess I, I don't know i don't know you know we could also try different wheels let's try that oh hey no. let's do wheels let's do i wonder what the off-road wheels would be. <laughs> i'm gonna drive it just to see what happens oh okay that's that's precious that's pressed oh look at that oh and the, the back wheels are sticking out further that's fine right right that's good that's pro pro, pro designs right oh god hey, hey hey i like it oh that speed is blinding oh, that turn radius though bye bye <laughs> Give me Sorry. Oh no, we're gonna have to. Can we delete this guy? Ah. Can we delete the dummy? Is that... mm. Be careful. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel so bad. Sorry. Sorry, dummy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. I'm assuming I just need to bump this off. Whoa! Well, I bumped myself off as well, it looks like. Uh, I just collected this this way. Nope, I have to be in my vehicle. Okay, let's uh, respawn. And actually, <laughs> let's, let's get rid of these dumbass wheels. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, my computer froze. Okay. Give it a second. It's deciding to behave stupidly tonight. Either the game's gonna crash. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. There we go. All right. Yeah, my, my computer freezes randomly sometimes. So dumb. I hate it. I don't know why. I think it's a driver issue, but I am not very, very skilled at figuring out driver issues. So, um, is what it is. Racing large. Sure, let's do that. That looks proper. Oh, go down over here. Now we might have enough speed to do this objective here to get this dummy. But we're going to have to get some speed. And I'm going to have to go down here, I think. PC pit stop. Side back in the day. Ah, uh, okay. That one does not. Oh, you mean for like solving things? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll check it out. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? <gasps> no. <laughs> okay. Something's ringing up there. I need to get up there somehow, some way. Can we just like go up the back way somehow? Ooh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Bounce. Can go in here. We go upstairs driving around inside because that's what we like to do 
Can I not go in there? Excuse me. Okay. More like an HDD issue. Yeah. You know, I have like a butt ton of uh, drives all connected, both uh, internal and external because of um, like my media work. It requires a lot of space, a lot of storage. Oh, hey. Okay. Um, you know, it might be a hard drive just being stupid. Okay, I'm going to go back. I have to get rid of the double thing. As cool as that is, it's actually hindering me right now. And um, these wheels actually kind of not working for me. I'm going to do a medium wheel. I'm going to do just like a standard medium. And then we're going to actually turn up the speed on these guys. Oh, we have acceleration as well. Let's just put that at 50. What if I put that at... Oh, we have power too. Let's go 100. Go 100. There we go. See how that goes. Zoom, zoom. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is going to be... It's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. Okay. And not, not necessarily bad, just... Uh, it's going to get really unruly really really fast okay <laughs> yep and that wasn't even full speed either that was just uh What is that? I don't know. I just like I'll take it. Uh, anything else? Anything? Oh, now come on. Hold on. What's over here? Anything fun? I think it's time to go park. Hey, we can go inside now. <laughs> oh, sure. I like it. Oh boy. Did I do everything? I didn't find all the checkpoints. Okay. <sighs> it's like a big sandbox of fun. It actually really is. The real world is a messy place, and humans use all kinds of vehicles to get around. The helipad is your goal, but there are many steps to reach it. Oh, wow. For an extra challenge, simulate carrying some heavy luggage up there. <laughs> check and check, as I gesture to myself. Uh... <laughs> So let's build this uh, heavy luggage. Um, nope. Okay, so it depends on how close you are to the screen as to what's going on. Okay, so let's get rid of these wheels again. Let's go back to the big wheels, but not the super fat ones. Let's do the large road. There we go. That feels appropriate. Um, I feel like I should do add in braking. <laughs> Because braking seems to be very important. Let's do let's do both brakes. Uh, break. And let's do this on just like on space. That okay. And then um oh the transparency that's kind of cool actually because then. Whatever you're looking at it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, guys. <laughs> what is subway style? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't mind subway style. And let's turn down the power of these just a little bit. Um, speed versus power. So we're doing power all the way up, acceleration all the way up. But let's let's turn this back to like 70. That'll give us a little bit more balance between speed and power, but still have the power to spare. This level is quite difficult. Oh, okay. Might want to add boosters. Ooh, we have boosters. Mechanical. Attachment. Hmm. What's that? Small basic motor that can be used for anything. Ooh. Okay. Um. 
I'm just, I don't know what this is going to do for me, but I'm going to do it. And it's going to be fun. I'm going to put the motor on top of that and just see what happens. And then can I like extrude this? Nope. Okay. It just is what it is. It just connects how it's going to connect. Just, just, can I just like snap that to this? And then I'm just curious. Can I do like this? Oh, you know what? Uh, let's do mirror mode, I guess. Whoa. Right click. Oh, it deletes things. Okay. Good to know. E for radial. We can weld things. We can program things. Let's do mirroring. And then. You know what? That's, that's another thing I wanted to check. There was kits as well that I didn't really get into. Walker offset, a flipper. These are great. A flailing arm. I mean, how? I mean, why wouldn't you want a flailing arm? Right? It even looks like a little hand. That's great. I like it. I approve. This is going to end very, very badly. Um. <laughs> We have a servo, forklift, and then boombox. Who doesn't want a boombox? Of course, um, let's program. Oops, nope, 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 build. And then program. All right, so we have parts. <laughs> oh, you can actually. Are you sh mm. So if I just do like a put space again. Are you shitting me right now? So if I hit space, I should hear a kick drum. That is not the case. Okay. Play the kick drum. FX horn two. Ooga. There we go. Uh, space bar, right? It, I feel like this should be working, but it's not. I wonder if it's because space is already used. Well, it's not working, but we have a big old thing on the back of our vehicle, and that's fine. Be good for high vibes, yeah, right? I thought boosters were unlocked at this point. It can be deep. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why the the the, radio, the stereo is not working right now, but hey, there's dummy. Ooh, this feels a lot more solid. Like the way I I've got these these wheels working. Like, it feels like a good balance between speed and, uh, port. Oh, no. Uh oh, okay. I'm gonna have to. Ooh. Oh, no. I need a break. I need a break. Okay. So, my front end is a lot lighter. I guess I just have too much torque. But we can manage in here there's something over there I go in here no really okay I'm gonna complete all the missions you need a few more grams uh, okay appreciate it so let's go back into the build menu let's get rid of just some junk here oh um uh, I want to get rid of everything here. Oh, man. Okay. This is on 
unfortunate. Is there a better way? I feel like there's got to be a better way to do this. Yeah, this is... I just don't know it yet. As soon as I get rid of this, I'm just going to bulk up the rest of everything. It'll be great. And it'll be one. Control Z before you delete it. Oh, okay. Oh, because I see. But then what is this? What are you? All right, so if we're gonna bulk up, how are we gonna do that? We need a little bit of weight in the front, to be honest. Oh no, oh no, oh, this is so bad. Can I connect this like in a, I guess I'd have to flatten it out, so. This is looking pretty terrible. Okay. Right? Pretty terrible. I think it's terrible. And then I guess we can go into the program mode. And then parts. And we have piston and leads. CPU forklift extend piston. Okay, so we'll put that on space. Let's see if that does anything. Well, that didn't work at all. It's, it's red, so that's probably not good. Forklift will hit the ramp. Oh, okay, you know, let's, let's not worry about it. All right. Oh, no. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Okay. That works. Okay. Um, I am very much not skilled at this game. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. I just feel really dumb. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess if we continue and just look at the, the bits and the bobs and the everything... Catalog, let's just kind of do some fun stuff. Uh, controllers, chassis, stuff. I mean, I mean, we could put more, we could, we could put more, whoa, what is that? Oh, interesting. Okay. We'll put more motors on it. Somehow, some way. <laughs> um, let's, let's do, let's do some, some weird stuff. Uh, let's get rid of this back end. Because screw it. Of course, I'm lightning the vehicle, not making it better um can we just clone this can we extrude this way no <laughs> want to extrude this way no okay so i need to extrude this then this way yeah there we go that's too far can we shoot it back Okay. I'm, okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, guys. And then I want to pull this up some. Can I do that? Does that look good? That does look good. Okay. I'm just adding a second set of wheels at this point. How bad is that? That is... It's not as bad as I thought. We can, we, I mean, it looks terrible. Don't get me wrong. I'm just going to put it up a little bit higher. Nope. No, I'm not trying to do that, man. I'm trying to, trying to grab 
the motor. Cycle, cycle gizmo. Okay. 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 How about we get rid of you? How about you calm down? Pull you down just a whole little bit. I'm trying to line you up here. All right. There we go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Cause it's dumb. And it's not even angled right. You see that? Like it's 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 angled stupidly. <laughs> I can't even do it. Can't even do it. Okay. Oh no. Let's just get rid of all this. I'm just gonna try to find everything just with the standard vehicle. something pinging me there's this so how we do it finish with heavy bot i'm okay with not finishing with heavy bot there's something down here though hello it's a hat oh no oh yeah bye bye dummy My thoughts exactly. There's a whole lot here to explore. Bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Ooh, there's another ramp over there. Ooh, that was almost bad. that wrong but it's fine <laughs> oh <laughs> i can't stay upright apparently okay so i'm gonna have to redo this one try it again up the ramp that's what i'm trying to do Salt. Whoa, hey, back it up now. Okay, parking is over there. Let's just do it. Oh, no! <sighs> okay, well, I survived. But I don't see how this is going to do me any good. and sky and elite dangerous joined up perfect game i would play the hell out of that game absolutely yeah the uh the video for the space legs for elite dangerous looks amazing i hope they don't make it super combat focused though because otherwise it's just going to turn into a shooter game and i'm not a big fan of that but i mean i guess i, I play in solo anyway so that way i don't have to deal with other people messing up my game but oh, it's interesting to see how they take it i didn't do anything oh i got a star so that works but yeah i'm excited to see what they do with the game all right guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the stream here i appreciate you guys hanging out this game is pretty amazing um there's a lot you can do with this game if this game looks really interesting to you consider uh picking up the game it'll be on steam as of june 11th um i wish i was more skilled with the game if i had a lot of hours and like interesting builds and i was fluent with all the mechanics of how everything worked then i'd be a lot better at this i mean i guess that saying the same thing twice but um uh, yeah uh thanks for hanging out guys this has been fun um and uh yeah make sure you check those links down in the description as well and see if you can help support any of those causes so it, it'd be cool if you did uh but guys have fun 
uh I, I will i will catch you next week i don't know what i'll be playing next week i usually just kind of decide last minute that's kind of what happened here uh to be honest but um yeah uh if you're not on discord make sure you join discord i'm on and off throughout on and off on there throughout the week there we go and then uh you know i just like hanging out and chatting with you guys there but anyway guys hopefully you guys have a good rest of your weekend and i'll catch you guys next week so as always thanks for watching take care Bye-bye.